Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is springtime out. It's 72 degrees here in Tennessee, which is shocking in March. So taking advantage of it, enjoying it, uh, loving it. Hope everybody's having a great week. I cannot believe it's Thursday already. It's just been another crazy busy week, but it's been good. It's been good. Can't complain. Uh, everybody's busy. Uh, if you're a seller in this market, you've got all the leverage right now. Uh, eventually that will change, so don't get too cocky on that. If you're a buyer, I know it's tough. I've had two people tell me yesterday they had offers that they tried putting in. One was $17,000 over the list price. The other one I think was like twelve, dollars and they still didn't get the house. So it's crazy time. Inventory is the lowest it's been in, in years. I think it's like 50 years or something like that. So it's pretty crazy. Now, uh, to my topic for today, okay? If a big bank says that you can't go... Uh, up to a certain sales price, okay? There's a lot of times where you deal with these big banks and I'm not throwing anybody in a bus. I know people who work for, for these big banks and, and some good people, but I'm just saying, they have different guidelines. They have different type of, uh, uh, I guess, credit criteria, uh, debt to income ratio criteria, and, and so forth. So if you get one of these things, like we had a client yesterday, and thank you, Bill Kamer, for sending this person to us, uh, that, that couldn't, they said that he could not go above 200,000. So, uh, basically Bill sent us this client. We took a look at it, improved it and bumped it up so he can buy a house that he's looking for. So if you get turned out from a bank or, or they say, Hey, you know, you, there's a certain limit and so forth, just let us know. I mean, all it takes, I mean, literally it took us about 15 minutes to, to take the application, look at everything and then go through everything. And then basically from there, I mean, within 15 minutes, a pre-approval letter went out. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, now this borrower is going to be, you know, searching for houses higher than 200,000. So, um, you know, don't don't just take their word for it and say, well, you know, I just talked to the bank and, and this and, and, and so forth. Uh, that's not always the case. There, a lot of times that's not the case, okay? So when you deal with these big banks, I'm not going to throw anybody in the bus here, uh, but basically, let us take a look at it. It will literally take us, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes getting, getting your information. We can take that file. We can take a look at it and get it out to you, uh, you know, and hopefully you can purchase a higher price, now, especially in the seller's market right now. Because like I said earlier, sellers have all the chips right now uh, and they're just holding on to it right now and seeing who's got the best deal before they put the chips across the table. So get any questions on that? Just let me know. Um, you know, right now, I said it yesterday, inflation, um, all indicators is that inflation is going to start getting revved up here. And as I keep on saying, as inflation goes up, and that's the arch enemy of bonds, which is tied to mortgage rates and rates are starting to creep up. And, you know, rates are still in the high twos, low threes, depending on there's I said this yesterday, there's 26 factors when it comes to interest rates. Okay. Uh, it's not like getting a car loan and, and they have an interest rate for the whole month special that doesn't work that way on the secondary market. And here's the other thing, all right? I said this a lot last year because especially when the Fed cut the rate down to zero, mortgage rates are not zero, okay? That's short-term interest rate. That's that's lending between banks, okay? That's short-term interest rates like with, uh, let's say, with cars and, and, and so forth. That only that only affects that. It has nothing to do with the long-term interest rates, 30-year uh, mortgages, okay? Uh, very, very important. So if you got any questions about anything, just comment down below, shoot me a private message, or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.